Good morning, folks. It's Richard here. You know, this morning, Gunnersville Lake, uh, the Tennessee River in general, all the way up and down the river, is muddy as a clay hole. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of influx of water that's muddy the water. Okay, cold, muddy water conditions, in my opinion, definitely spread crappie out. Okay, yeah. if you want to catch them, you definitely going to, or target this species, you're definitely going to have to get out on the water and hunt and search for them. Now, come with me and let's get out here and see if we can catch a few. All right, we made it to the lake right here and I'm already at peace, folks. This is where I belong. I love it. On the water. Now look at that fog right there. Sun coming up, a slight ripple on the water. Now I don't know how windy it's going to be today. I really don't. Um, I don't worry about those things. As far as wind and things of that nature, I don't worry about because it's going to be the way it's going to be. But yeah, the water is muddy. Okay. And now we're going to put the boat in well she's done in we're gonna get out here and see what the water temperature is next okay what we have right here the uh, surface temperature is 43 degrees and that's cold but it's not as cold as I thought it would be this morning it's 35 degrees and that's pretty comfortable I'm getting used to this cold 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 winter that we've had but 35 degrees, that's tolerable. Okay, let's just go straight to the point, hunt some fish this morning. Okay, right now I'm starting off with an ACC crappie stick, okay, with a uh, Garcia Saron loaded with two pound test line, okay, and I'm gonna be fishing under a float, okay. And I'm gonna start off around two, two and a half feet deep. And also I'm using, starting off with a brush pile jig. Okay, this is called the Brush Hammer Valentine. It's pink with some red metal fleck and a white tail. Okay, I've used these jigs before, one time before, and was successful. Every one of these jigs that comes out of this pack has straight tails. And that's very, very important, you know, for crappie fishing. Okay, in my opinion. So, let's go on up here and see if we can catch a crappie. Now, folks, in real muddy or real stained water, either way, I use a very, very slow presentation when I'm fishing with a jig. What I do is I just barely move the jig and twitch it and let it set. That's enough movement right there. Just like that, just twitch it. Let the jig settle down below the, the float, okay? That's enough movement to get a bite. There he is. Now that feels like a crappie. Let's flip him in the boat, yep. There he is, white crappie, cold, muddy water. And I'm gonna tell you, um, I have several different colors of jigs, folks, but my personal best in cold, clear, uh, excuse me, clear, muddy water is definitely, no doubt, pink and white, or a solid centered pink, or a white, those three right there I've been successful with over the years. Uh, I don't know exactly why, I just know they're real visible colors, but that's a small fish right there, probably about eight inches long, but I'm proud to get him under these conditions. Real proud. And the strike was real soft, real soft. Let's let that fish go right there. He shook his head before he left. He, it, I made him mad. There ain't no doubt about it. But I like a small, this is the floater I was talking about, a small 
little bitty. You, you can see how little it is. It might be five eighths of an inch long. Okay. And that offers very little resistance. I don't like a big float when I'm fishing this way. But let's make us another cast in there. I caught that fish right there. There he goes. That took a while. That took a lot of teasing. Right there, but we got him. Gosh, you have to move that jig so slow, folks. Now, let's look at the hook placement right here. This is another thing that I look for when I'm crappie fishing right on the outside rim of the mouth. I was fortunate to catch that fish. See that tear right there? That's a very unaggressive bite. Okay. Very unaggressive. So, again, for the second crappie of the day, I'm proud to be able to caught that fish. I feel fortunate. Real fortunate. Under these conditions. So, let's release him. We don't need any crappie. We've got some in the freezer still. Okay, let's let him go right there. That's the second one that shook his head. I'm making him mad right here is what I'm doing. But I'm fishing very, very slowly. Very slow. Trying to not make any racket because there's not much. I caught that fish right there. Okay, that's where he hit. See if there's another one. Look here. There's another crop. I'm getting in the groove right here. What kind of crop he is? He's a white crop. Let's flip him in the boat. Again, an unaggressive bite. But still, still a bite. That's a white crappie. See the bars, they're running um, vertically. It's hard to see them because the water's so muddy, they lose them, the fine bars or pattern. But let's let that one go. Let's just ease them back right here. Okay. There he goes. I'm gonna make another cast in there. No doubt. I'm going to slip back up in here. That's like what, where I wanted it. I wanted exactly where I caught that fish. Right there. Let's see if there's another one right here. There he is. What do you got in your face, sir, crappie? That's a small one. There he is. Now he's got a little bit of an issue every once in a while, not much, but I'll catch crappie that has this. I don't know if it's a fungus or what it is. You know, I, I don't know if it's a bad thing or a natural thing but I catch a lot of fish like that or not many, a few but uh, that's a black crappie let's let him go right here, he ain't very big we ain't caught a big fish yet but we're after him me and Elmo's after him and there ain't no doubt about it alright going back in there There he is. Come here, boy. Boy, the sun's pretty the way it's hitting the water. Let's flip him in here. White crappie. Barely hooked. <laughs> Barely hooked. That shows how inactive. Again, I'm going to mention that. These fish are. I'm really having to work for them, no doubt. Now, that's a little better fish right there. Probably close to nine inches long, I think. But let's let him go. 
just ease back here. I'm easing today. There ain't no wind. When it's calm like this and no wind, I ease around. That's a pretty little fish, but now let's let him go. Get on back in there, boy. Yeah. Nothing like the sport of fishing. I enjoy this stuff. And I'm sure y'all do too. Matter of fact, with all the comments, oops. Well, they may be one right there. I've done caught one right there. So with all the comments I get, I love to read my comments. There's a lot of folks out here that loves fishing. They love to relax, get out here, get things off your mind. There he is. Well, he's small, but again, barely, barely, barely got him hooked. Very inactive crappie. He's real small. I mean, he might be six inches long. I don't know. But I'm proud to get him under these conditions. Let's let him go. He's pretty, though. There he goes. Hey. That strike was a long time in coming. A lot of work going on right here. It's crappie, I can tell. Come on in here. There he is. That's a black crappie. And that's a pretty fish right there. He's pretty. Look at that little black. A lot of them have a little black dot right here or a little diamond shape. A little marking. Let's call it a marking. He's pretty. He's shining out here in the sun, Elmo. Elmo's missing it again. You know, he always does. I don't know what's wrong with Elmo. He's missing some good fishing I'm talking about. Hey, let's let that pretty thing go back right here. Get on back in there. They always shake their head when you put them back that way. And that the reason is I'm real careful when I handle them. They're getting them jaws back. There he is. Yep. You finally messed up, didn't you? Old Richard just kept after you until you just couldn't help it. God, fish is fattening. That's a black crappie. Black crappie. Now see, he don't have that. Let me be easy with him. We're going to release them today. He don't have that little black marking right here like that other crappie did. See, some of them do, some of them don't. Both were the same species. Now, I don't know what that's about. That's just how the Lord made them. But let's go ahead and let him go. Let me help him with his mouth there. There. He didn't do so much shaking because I was a little bit more gentler with him. Is that a word, gentler? <laughs> hey, let's catch another one. There he is. Hey, come here, boy. My goodness. It's white crappie. And I changed the type of jig I'm using. Barely got him. Another indication of a slow, inactive bat. But, uh, yeah, that's a little white crappie. I'm excited. I always change a lot. Now, I tell you, I'm a big changer. If something works and I find that it works, well, I'll try to find something else that'll work or right reverse. Okay, let's let that little fish go right there. They're getting a little bigger. Now, we're after a big one let him go. I'm using a jig 
uh, made by Mr. Perry, who supported this channel from the very beginning. He hand ties these. I mention him a lot on our videos. This is a gold one with some red marabou coming out of the back of it with a tinsel. So this bait right here has plenty of flash in this muddy water. Okay. And on these type of jigs, I take advantage of the material and I'll put power bait, uh, soak it down with power bait. We'll just do that right now. To mask my odor. Okay. We want to get our odor off our baits, in my opinion. That's why I do that. That's what Fish Farm was really designed to do. And I do it on all my plastics, everything. I believe it gives me a few more bites during the course of a day. But, uh, hey, let's see if we can catch us another crappie. There we go. Hey. I was excited. I jerked a little bit too hard on that fish right there. Way too hard, really. But there he is. That's on the Perry jig once again. I'm having to change jigs out here. Having to really study these crappie. But that's a little that's a little black crappie. Let's let him go right here. Put him right over here in the sun. There he goes. Shuck his little mouth and said goodbye. Hey, we had a pretty good day. Now, we didn't catch no great big crappie, but that's fishing. That's the reality of fishing. And you know what? Uh, fishing in cold, real stained or muddy water, hey, it ain't no problem. There's several different ways you can go about this. This is just one, in my opinion, that works great. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. Uh, in closing, I have received from Stephanie and Serena from Ohio. It humbles me as much support as we're getting on this channel. It, uh, we haven't been doing this very long, and I tell you what, this is the kind of stuff right here that humbles me. I'm going to say it again. Look here. Richard Jean, the fishing machine. They made me a hat. And here again... Richard Jean, the fishing machine. They made me a cold. With, on them cold days, I'll be wearing this, no doubt. And look here. I've got two shirts that say, says Richard Jean, the fishing machine. The wind called it. And on the back of it, go fishing when you can because it's good for you. And I have two. I have a black one and a gray one. I'm going to be sporting these all over the Tennessee River. I guarantee you, uh, Wise, Neely Henry, and every creek, anything I can get into to bring y'all a quality fishing channel. That's what we're about. Hey, I tell you what, I had to get way off out here away from people because I get adrenaline rushes. I feel it from my, from my doggone feet and it just straight up. Hey, man. Hey. Don't fish it when you can. Because it's good.